I'm going to get you back. Leo. I will <laughs> not <laughs> call him. Because Leo makes me look at him. Leo. He, you mean, he doesn't want to be Leo. He didn't want to be Leo at one point. He still doesn't now, want to be Leo. You're not my friend. <laughs> oh, no. I'm your best friend. You just no, don't know. No, you're it. not. I'm a I, friend of your life. We don't know each other. other. What other acts have you helped with your advice that have taken <laughs> off? <laughs> a lot advice. of young kids. Yeah. A lot of young kids have, have, have gone that way. I've talked to a few guys that don't give me credit for helping them get through. Oh, Isn't yeah. the object of entertainment mm -hmm. to uh, have your own identity and your own look and that way stand out from the crowd of guys that are wearing gold and have jeans on and are no, talking no, about no no you know i don't talk about the difference between blacks and whites and almost every black comedian that's all they talk about do you talk nah, about the difference I, between I, blacks I talk and about whites absolutely i do well i, but don't. I do it very differently yeah no you don't you have Whoa. the same topics as everybody else Whoa. Whoa. i'm sorry wait a minute i understand this unis but I'm sorry, Mr. Wheelchair Tiger Woods joke, that shitty joke you said. <laughs> you don't think everybody's talking about that? But I had Mother a better friend. joke. I had a good joke. The, the standing up fucking... Walking. Are you fucking serious? All that right, should have had you're... knock knocking ahead of it. Because I don't have jokes, Leo. Uh -huh. I have soliloquies. <laughs> I talk about it in reality world. Oh. You're not his friend. I'm not your fucking friend. No, you're, not. you're just not. We all see it. Fuck that. Holy it is shit. It's a good I'm job. I'm trying to teach I, him how to fucking buy seeds and grow his own fruit. <laughs> I, I, I see Patrice's act, and, uh, it, it, I, and I can't stand the whole, you know, Black Def versus Comedy white Jam or, or BET Black Comic where he's just like, let's tell how white people do It is nothing like that. Patrice is very intelligent, and he's very uh, uh, Bill educated. Cosby never uh, talked smart. about that. Well, he should have probably, because he's doing Bill, it now. Oh, That's why Bill Cosby, his relevance ain't as uh, in the place where Pryor's relevance is, or Carlin's re Carlin talked about race. Right. Yes. Not really at home. Mm. I guess I did, too, when I just mentioned it. Yeah, you certainly <laughs> did. And you went and saw the play of the same name. And I'm going to tell you something. Here's why I'm, I'm here to help. It, it's hard for white comedians to, to venture in that area. So mm -hmm. a lot of times they it put that funny. They put, they put down funny? they it's put down the funny. ability that black comics have to explore that world that they don't feel like they have. It's dangerous to explore, but oh. you want to talk about it because it's relevant, sir. But it doesn't make sense to say <laughs> that the that people are the same no matter what color they are, and then get on stage and tell how they're different. Who said that? Every black comedian says <laughs> how they're different than whites, but yet not every black comedian. They, I, I can't think I of can't one say that does it. Every white comedian goes, "I just had a baby today. <laughs> uh, my wife just had a baby. Yay!" Yeah. You know the funny thing about babies? I'm not going to say all white guys do that. A couple of hacks do, and a couple of hat black comedians do. Let's get back to Mars. And Let's Sam get back to this uh, shitty hairdo. It's back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks, it looks exactly like it. Why do you have to wash his hair, it's Mars? Clean. Yeah, it's clean. Now. It was clean before. Sam, it was clean uh, before. You've done nothing. I wish an eagle would grab your head and throw you off a cliff. <laughs> Sam. Yeah. Walk us through it. How was it so far? Well, so far so bad. There's still shampoo and conditioner. But is Mars doing a good job? No, he has not gotten any <laughs> shampoo out of my hair. He just gave up. But he's really into shampooing you. He, he enjoyed it very much. And by the way, I have already uh, the the thing that we were talking about about the balls on the chair thing. Yeah. Already when he was applying the shampoo and conditioner, his balls touched your. Uh, his balls arm? were very yeah right on my arm. Dude, and now he's drawing your hair, which I think uh, he did on purpose. This is really. Fucking awkward. It's a little homoerotic. But if his, it is. if his pubes are as thick as this, I don't think <laughs> his girlfriend can find his dick. Oh, wow. I don't know why. I don't know why. We're it's going to be like today. an eaglet <laughs> in a nest. I don't know why we have to go there. All right, we're going to straighten it now, Mars. did this become R rated? Look how happy Mars is. <laughs> when was it? He really is. Exactly. Mars is into his tools. He is skadoodly, isn't he? He's just like. Yes. He's, what is this? You should oh. be whistling. Mars, what are you oh. doing now? He's oh. using. Wow. He's combing his hair. Out. What uh, is that? Trying. Comb. It's a wide tooth comb. What do you think you're gonna get? A, a pick? That came from 1972. That comb Mars will probably not get through it. What would you do for Gallagher and his hair? <laughs> what does Mars do here at the show? He's our engineer. <laughs> trying to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to figure out what he's good at. That is was he, just the voice of serious <laughs> management. <right? laughs> he's, the, he's the resident also. <laughs>